Though Netflix and Hulu certainly give it a run for its money, Amazon Prime is no joke when it comes to the TV shows and movies you love. Amazon knows that few of us stick to just one genre, and that's why their section of movies and TV shows is so great. The streaming platform is stacked with must-see comedy, drama, and horror films, so there's something for everyone. No matter your preferred genre, rom-com, thriller, sci-fi, action, Oscar-winning films, Amazon Prime has something for you. Welcome to Tita Top 10. I am your host, Andrea Toth, as we count down the top 10 Hollywood movies you must watch on Amazon. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new content. Number 10 is Terminator Dark Fate. More than two decades have passed since Sarah Connor prevented Judgment Day, changed the future, and rewrote the fate of the human race. Danny Ramos, Natalia Reyes, is living a simple life in Mexico City with her brother Diego Boneta and father when a highly advanced and deadly new Terminator, a Rev-9, Gabriel Luna, tracks back through time to hunt and kill her. Danny's survival depends on her joining forces with two warriors, Grace, Mackenzie Davis, an enhanced super soldier from the future, and a battle-hardened Sarah Connor, Linda Hamilton. As the Rev-9 ruthlessly destroys everything and everyone in its path on the hunt for Danny, the three are led to a T-800, Arnold Schwarzenegger, from Sarah's past that may be their last best hope. Number 9 is... Lord of the Rings series. The Lord of the Rings is an epic, high fantasy novel written by English author and scholar J.R.R. Tolkien. The story began as a sequel to Tolkien's 1937 fantasy novel The Hobbit, but eventually developed into a much larger work. Written in stages between 1937 and 1949, The Lord of the Rings is one of the best-selling novels ever written, with over 150 million copies sold. The title of the novel refers to the story's main antagonist, the Dark Lord Sauron, who had, in an earlier age, created the One Ring to rule the other rings of power as the ultimate weapon in his campaign to conquer and rule all of Middle-earth. From quiet beginnings in the Shire, a hobbit land not unlike the English countryside, the story ranges across Middle-earth, following the course of the War of the Ring through the eyes of its characters, most notably the hobbits Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin. Although generally known to readers as a trilogy, the work was initially intended by Tolkien to be one volume of a two-volume set, the other to be the Cimmerian, but this idea was dismissed by his publisher. Number 8. Spider-Man Series The fictional character Spider-Man, a comic book superhero created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, and featured in Marvel comic publications, has appeared as a main character in multiple theatrical films and made for television films. Plans for an animated Spider-Man film were originally announced by Sony in April 2015, which eventually became Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in 2018 from Sony Pictures Animation. Shay McMoore voices Miles Morales, Spider-Man, in the film, along with various other versions of Peter Parker and alternate versions of Spider-Man from the multiverse also appearing. A sequel and potential spin-offs are planned. The Spider-Man films have been well received, with each film earning 90% or more on review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, except Spider-Man 3 and the web films, and have grossed over 6.3 billion collectively at the global box office. This includes Far From Home, which became the first Spider-Man film to gross over $1 billion worldwide. Number 7 is Shawshank Redemption. The Shawshank Redemption is a 1994 American drama film written and directed by Frank Darabont. Based on the 1982 Stephen King novel Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption, it tells the story of banker Andy Dufresne, Tim Robbins, who is sentenced to life in Shawshank State Penitentiary for the murders of his wife and her lover. Despite his claims of innocence, over the following two decades, he befriends a fellow prisoner, contraband smuggler, Ellis Red Redding, Morgan Freeman, and becomes instrumental in a money laundering operation led by the prison warden, Samuel Norton, Bob Gunton. 
William Sadler, Clancy Brown, Gil Bellows, and James Whitmore appear in supporting roles. Over 320,000 VHS copies were shipped throughout the United States, and based on its award nominations and word of mouth, it became one of the top rented films of 1995. It is now considered by many to be one of the greatest films of the 1990s. Number 6 is Jumanji New Series Welcome to the Jungle is a 2017 American fantasy adventure comedy film directed by Jake Kazdan, co-written by Chris McKenna, Eric Summers, Scott Rosenberg, and Jeff Pinkner, and starring Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillian, Nick Jonas, and Bobby Cannavale. It is the third installment of the Jumanji franchise, after Zathora, a space adventure, 2005, and a standalone sequel to Jumanji in 1995, which was based off of the 1991 children's book of the same name by Chris Van Allsburg. The story focuses on a group of teenagers who come across Jumanji, now transformed into a video game 21 years after the events of the 1995 film. They find themselves trapped in the game as a set of avatars, seeking to complete a quest alongside another player who has been trapped since 1996. Number 5 is The Hunger Games series. The Hunger Games film series is composed of science fiction dystopian adventure films, based on the Hunger Games trilogy of novels by the American author Suzanne Collins. The movies are distributed by Lionsgate and produced by Nina Jacobson and John Kilk. The series feature an ensemble cast including Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss Everdeen, Josh Hutchinson as Peter Malark, Liam Hensworth as Gail Hawthorne, Woody Harrelson as Hamish Albernathy, Elizabeth Banks as Effie Trinket, Stanley Tucci as Cesar Flickerman, and Donald Sutherland as President Snow. The first three films set records at the box office. The Hunger Games in 2012 set records for the opening day and the biggest opening week for a non-sequel film. Number 4 is Sicario. Sicario is a 2015 American action thriller film directed by Dennis Villeneuve, written by Taylor Sheridan, and starring Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, and Josh Borland. The film follows a principled FBI agent who is enlisted by a government task force to bring down the leader of a powerful and brutal Mexican drug cartel. Sicario was selected to compete for the Palme d'Or at the 2015 Cannes Film Festival. It began a limited release in the United States on September 18, 2015, followed by a nationwide release on October 2, 2015. In Sicario, Day of the Solado, the series begins a new chapter. In the drug war, there are no rules as the cartels have begun trafficking terrorists across the U.S. border. Federal agent Matt Graver, Josh Borland, calls on the mysterious Alejandro, Benicio del Toro, whose family was murdered by a cartel kingpin, to escalate the war in nefarious ways. Alejandro kidnaps the kingpin's daughter to inflame the conflict, but when the girl is seen as a collateral damage, her fate will come between the two men as they question everything they are fighting for. Number 3 is John Wick. John Wick, retroactively known as John Wick Chapter 1, is a 2014 American neo-noir action thriller film directed by Chad Stahelski in his directional debut and written by Derek Kolstad. It stars Keanu Reeves, Michael Nyingfest, Alfie Allen, Adrian Pulicki, Bridget Moynihan, Dean Winters, Ian McShane, John Nagusimo, and William Dafoe. It is the first installment in the John Wick film series. The story focuses on John Wick, Reeves, searching for the men who broke into his home, stole his vintage car, and killed his puppy, which was a last gift to him from his recently deceased wife. Stahelski and David Leach directed the film together, though only Stahelski was credited. An ex-hitman comes out of retirement to track down the gangsters that took everything from him. With New York City as his bullet-riddled playground, John Wick, Keanu Reeves, is a fresh and stylized take on the assassin genre. 
Number two is Trolls World Tour. Trolls World Tour is a 2020 American computer animated jukebox musical comedy film produced by DreamWorks Animation and distributed by Universal Pictures. The film is a sequel to the 2016 film Trolls, directed by Walt Dorn, with co-direction by David P. Smith, produced by Gina Shea, and written by Jonathan Ibel. Glenn Berger, Elizabeth Tippett, Maya Forbes, and Wallace Wolodarski. From a story by Abel and Berger, the film stars the voices of Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake, Rachel Bloom, James Corden, John Funches, Kelly Clarkson, Anderson Pock, Sam Rockwell, George Clinton, and Mary J. Bilge. Trolls World Tour was released in the United States in a limited amount of theaters on April 10, 2020. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States, it was also released for digital rent on the same day. The film set several streaming records, including becoming Universal's most successful day one rental. Number one is Interstellar. Interstellar is a 2014 epic science fiction film directed, co-written, and co-produced by Christopher Nolan. It stars Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Jessica Chastain, Bill Irwin, Ellen Burstyn, Matt Damon, and Michael Caine. Set in a dystopian future where humanity is struggling to survive, the film follows a group of astronauts who travel through a wormhole near Saturn in search of a new home for humanity. Brothers Christopher and Jonathan Nolan wrote the screenplay, which had its origins in a script Jonathan developed in 2007. Christopher produced Interstellar with his wife, Emma Thomas, through their production company, Syncopy, and with Linda Obst through Linda Obst Productions. Caltech theoretical physicist Kip Thorne was an executive producer, acted as a scientist consultant, and wrote a tie-in book, The Science of Interstellar. Paramount Pictures, Warner Bros, and Legendary Pictures co-financed the film. Cinematographer Hoyt Van Hoytenma shot it on 35 millimeters in an anamorphic format and IMAX 70 millimeters.